So Maryland reports its second highest number of new COVID cases since the pandemic began. More than 1,800 people are now in hospitals. The Department of Health has restored data, death data after the cyber attack. 415 people died from COVID since December 4th. Now, Anne Arundel County isn't one of the Maryland counties bringing back the indoor mask mandate. The county's executive held a briefing today saying even though the cases are rising, no mandate will be in place just yet. WJZ is live. Jessica Albert explains why that is. Jessica. Sean and Max County Executive Stuart Pittman did not announce an indoor mask mandate today because he says he doesn't have the authority to do so. Only the county council does. He says the council may be meeting soon to discuss giving him that power. Anne Arundel County will not be joining the list of other municipalities reinstituting indoor mask mandates right now. County Executive Stuart Pittman explains why. That is not my role at this point. Point in Anne Arundel County. He says it's up to the county council to make that decision and says they plan to discuss giving him that power at their next meeting. Our legislative body, our county council, will be considering um, making some changes in county code to, um, to allow the county executive to implement an indoor mask mandate. Um, we don't have that authority now. This comes as COVID-19 hospitalizations in the county jumped to 134 this week from 85 last week. Residents WJZ spoke with believe it's time to bring back an indoor mask mandate. I believe they're probably going to wait off until it's probably another big surge. I wore a mask for over a year and I'm going to be putting one on again probably. It's sad. Anne Arundel County health leaders continue to focus on hospitalizations, testing, and vaccinations. Executive Pittman says the county gave out 100,000 rapid tests last week and has ordered 200,000 more. He says they want to make sure more people in more areas get a test and remains positive despite the surge. I believe that we'll be in a better position after this wave, the Omicron wave. More people will be vaccinated and, um, and more people will be immune as it moves through quickly through our population. The county council will be meeting virtually on January 3rd. That's their next meeting. The county will also be putting out information soon about where you can get some of those at home rapid tests. Reporting live tonight at four, Jessica Albert for WJZ.